Hello, my precious peeps. It's Antoinette here. Today is the day that we are going to Pleasant Lake. And I am so excited, but uh, day two and three of my staycation are uh, missing in action because uh, they were totally rained out. Well, the parade got never got off the ground on Sunday. And then yesterday, I got my carpets cleaned and took Buffy to the vet. And um, my, I, I put, I was cleaning, and I put the um, hot pad, hot, no, the uh, heating pad, on the top rack of my my bedroom closet, and that was the straw that broke the camel's back. It was because the whole dang thing collapsed. It was a nightmare. to Fox Lake, Wisconsin. We made a little pit stop to this nice uh, Mullins drive-in here. And uh, yeah, so I've got, I ordered, well I'll show you, I did order, I ordered a double cheeseburger with fried onions on it. Uh, no bun. And, um, but I did order the onion rings. This is a nice little town. Yeah, so Here's a shot of the little drive-in. Yeah, see, it's really nice. They see a garage sale sign over there. I don't know. Might stop there. But these nice little girls with cute little Mullins driving. Very cute. Uh, that's my car. Looks like I'm the only one here. Well, he showed up in a moped. That guy over there. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Our food is here. I got this burger. Looks really good. They made it just like I asked. It's double cheeseburger uh, with some pickles and some fried onions, mayonnaise and um, uh, mayonnaise and mustard. A lot of that and just a just a smidgen of ketchup on there. But I'm you know ruining that with these uh, onion rings. Just a few of those. I won't eat them all. Um, just some. I'm on vacation. Okay, so then I did order, um, they do have the diet root beer, so I'm getting a 16 ounce of that. Come to these driving places, you gotta get the root beer. Alright, I'm gonna eat now. I made it here. I'm in Montello, Wisconsin. 20 minutes from Pleasant Lake uh, at my cheap hilltop motel. Yeah, it was a bargain. It's, see, it's pet friendly. Look how nice. They've got, you know, all this grassy area. There's a little cafe right across, right next door. The Hilltop Cafe. And we're right here in room number one. Okay, so here we are inside my cheap Hilltop Motel. Uh, it's nice. It, I mean, it's pretty darn, it's darn nice for the price. I mean, it's $50 and $10 more for the dog. So, you have, it's two beds. That's carpeted area. Then you uh, have the kitchen area here. You have some old linoleum. It's actually, it's a kitchenette. It's great, look. So, you got a microwave, a, a refrigerator, sink, the whole works. It's great. Um, in here, See, so here's my bill. $66. Oh uh, yeah, it was $10 more for the dog and tax. So it's got a teeny weeny, uh, you know, bathroom of course. And a really tight shower here. Yeah, I don't know. But they said if I couldn't find the lake house um, today, I can there's enough availability uh, here and where I can stay for a second night. So we'll see how it goes because I'm going to find the house. All right. That's enough for now, peeps. I have to unload the car. I can smell the beach, the lake. I remember this road. This road looks very familiar to me. 
Um, uh, let's see. All right. Hard to drive and do the same time. We're on Czech Road. I'm a minute. Take the next right onto Czech Drive. Next right onto Czech Drive, she says. Oh, that's right here. Oh. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. Oh my God, I'm at the beach. Okay, so I know that how, uh, oh, there my God, I see the lake. I just saw the lake. Now I know where the house is from the beach. Um, approximately. <laughs> oh boy, there was a storm there. Okay. Look, there's Pleasant Lake. This is the beach. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Dad. There it is. There's Pleasant Lake. It's only 120 acres. There are people out there. Okay, I'm going to find a place to stop. Check it out. I made it to Pleasant Lake in Coloma, Wisconsin. Here we are. This is, this is Pleasant Lake Beach. Now, I know it wasn't very sandy in the 70s. <laughs> it wasn't. Oh, oh, well, that makes sense. The beach was there was beachfront. Right, but there used to be a house here, and then whenever they took down the house, that's whenever they kind of built this beach, and so this is fairly new over the last four or five years. Oh, okay, right, because there was a sandy beach. Yep, but that's there's the sandy beach that's not here this year. Now we got we got beachfront. <laughs> but look. But yeah, in the 70s, I remember this was the muckiest lake ever. It was nothing but seaweed. Oh, really? Well, over there. Okay. Yeah. No, that is beautiful. But look, you can always you could always see across. So, I was trying to figure out how big this lake was. Uh -huh. So, I looked at because of the lake that my sister owns a house on, <laughs> Okachi Lake in in uh, Okachi. <laughs> 1,200 acre lake. We find out this one's 120 acres. Yeah. Like it's tiny. I'll be able to find the house. Yeah. And then my grandpa's house is somewhere over there. I can't believe I made it. All right. But look how cute this is. All right. Good girl, Buffy girl. Okay. Look how cute this is. Look at this pavilion. Of course, we didn't have that in the 70s. Look at the bathroom. Oh, I got to go to the bathroom. I know. All right, we didn't go to the bathroom. Look how cute that bathroom is. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is this is pretty dang cute. It's totally built up from what it was. All right, but I know approximately how far it is down the road, and that's going to be our next stop. Further down. A little further down, and I found the boat launch. You know, I don't remember this if it was even here because, you know, we were docked at, at our house. So, yeah. So that girl said she might know about the house on the hill. Or we're gonna, or on beneath the hill. She thinks she knows what I'm talking about. And I'm going to keep on going down Check Drive. Dad, is it Check Drive? Do you remember that? Okay. Look, look at this sign. Somebody told me where to find this. Public access to the lakefront. And I'm not far from the house. So that was that big building right there was on the aerial lamp, uh, um, pfft, the aerial map um, that was at the very top of the aerial map. It's the launching pad. All right, so we're going to come down here. And get to the lakefront and they told me it's not far from here so we're gonna... it's very lumpy here so I apologize all right all right I'm just gonna bring you back when I, I get closer to the bottom of the beach okay so here's the lake access pathway 
and they told me dad dad said something about the realtor and um his name was Clausen or whatever it was um but apparently these people told me that I just talked to that the Erickson took over so um uh, so there is still a realty uh, agency that sells all of these lake houses and properties. And at the time in the 70s, you know, there weren't a lot of properties built up on them yet. So I know that my dad got it cheap. Oh my gosh, here I am. Look at that swamp. Okay. So I know I have to go to the right. So let's get to the lake frontage. Okay, I made it through some rough terrain around there, down at the lake. All right, um, I don't know how far I have to go, but uh, we're gonna keep on trucking, right, Buffy girl? We're gonna keep on trucking till I see that Stonefield house. All right, or that realtor. Okay, I found the steepest hill. I talked to a lot of people. I think it's down here. Look how deep that steep that is. Yeah? Um, okay. All right. We had little stone rocks. Okay, so all right, wait. We can't go there. There's a dog there. Oh, there's a dog up there. Well, this looks like the Johnson's house. Does that look like the Johnson's Buffy, come here. Buffy, come here. That was our next door neighbor. They had that big porch. Buffy, no, come here. All right, if that's the case, then it's down here. It was two houses over. All right, hold on. Oh my gosh, I really feel like I'm getting close. All right. Oh. All right. Um. All right, I got to get down there. Could this be it? Look at these steps. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is it. I remember those stairs. Look, I found it. I found the hill. I found the house. I found the rock. Only it's painted over now. Oh my gosh, is it little? Look how little this house is. Wow. All right, I'm going to go knock on the door. Look at Dad. All right, I'm going to step all the way back. I found the house. I found it. This front yard definitely seemed much bigger. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta send a picture to Dad right after I do this. I found the house on Pleasant Lake. I found it. I found the highest hill, and here we are. Okay. Okay, this is from from the neighbor's view. Look, way up here. It looks so small now. <laughs> I'm going. All right. So the owners are um, out on the lake, on the pontoon. We're gonna wait for them, and. Um, have some beer. So this this kind neighbor right here, what's your name? I'm Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff kindly <laughs> gave me a beer and, and letting us and Buffy wait for the owners and see if we can get a tour. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just wanna. I just get some good pictures. Yeah. Just look and I show him that. Okay. So I because this was not. Yeah, I'm going to say, like, is this the outside of the house? It's got to be. Yeah, because yeah, you know why? Because this probably was the doorway the front door. to the front door. Right. Yeah, they painted his, uh, 
Yeah, those were all different colors. Oh, they were all different colors? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, but I, yeah, I think that this was in there, only it was red or orange in the other variety. Where is Rosanna? Right, so, so explain it. What... We don't know what this was. Okay, we'll, we'll get an answer to that question. Yeah. What was that, Dad? Yeah. Right there. Because it looks like two different cinder blocks. Uh, right. No, no, Finny, don't drink out of there. Okay, so we had one bath. There's another bathroom upstairs, no, right? No, no, this is the only one. Okay, so my mother did not remember that. I yeah. asked her, I said, there's two bedrooms up there, right? Three. There's three. Okay, she totally gets it wrong. Okay, so here's the Itsy Bitsy Kitchen. And, are you, yeah, yeah that's everything. all original. No. <laughs> I think the dogs need, Finny needs some water. Look at the, here it is. Here's your little kitchen. Dad, look at the cabinets you made. Yeah. We're going to paint those whites. Uh oh, they're going to paint them. Yeah. No, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, but they're good. They're still good. But I, yeah, I always, I remember that. I remember that, the that staircase, but I thought it was over there. Oh. Yeah, no, it's definitely always been there. But I think that the pot potbelly stove, I could swear, well, it must have been over there in that, I don't know, Dad, which corner was it, in that corner? Or this corner? Well, wow, is this attached? Yeah. My grandpa must have did that. Ask him about that. Because he was the plasterer. Well, my dad was a plasterer, too. All right, maybe Dad did that. that well, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Because I know that they did it together. And then there's the stairs. I thought they were totally somewhere else. They probably just built them. Dad, look how tall that step is. Yeah. Yeah, he told me because I bought a condo. And I said, well, it's, oh, it is high. And, um, and he told me, he said, if you're going to buy a condo and that's your forever home, he said, you want to buy um, the lower level, he said, because one step is too many when you get old. Older, yeah. That's what he said. Oh, my gosh, it's tight up here, Daddy. Here it is. They call this the no sex house because of these. <laughs> Here's uh, the lake. These things, that the walls don't. Oh. And I think oh. it's because of the heat is in the walls. Like wiring or something. That's what the other owners Well, was. that was... Right. All right, he will explain this. No, we didn't have a furnace. Oh. We had a pot belly stove uh -huh. for heat. So it needed to flow. Uh-huh. I think that's it. But, you know, we'll find out what... what yeah, it's a nice structural element. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, no sex up here. Yeah, you hear everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a kid's space. Yeah. So, okay, so... Oh, Oh, that's an oh, that's another little room. Yeah, that's another little bed. That's where we had some water damage. Just oh, uh, oh, this is cute. Oh, look how this must have been. All right, whose room was this, Dad? Wow, it holds a lot of kids. Yeah, see, we get There's two. Oh, wow. Snow, yeah, yeah. Okay, look at that. Snow and ice and water. So. Uh huh. We're re roofing and but we're on a oh, waiting yeah. list. Right. It's hard to get people out Dad, here. Dad, it's falling apart. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know what? I do remember this. I think that Russell, my brother, I think that Russell was his slept side? that yeah. And I don't remember where we all slept. But yeah, mom and dad wait, there wasn't a bedroom downstairs. No. My mom thought it was downstairs. No, just yeah. the bedroom or the bathroom. No, there's was. a bigger bedroom, like I would say would be the master right. over here. Okay. Okay, so they've owned the house since uh, ninety one. Right, 91? No, no, we bought, well, the kids bought it in 2013. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, oh, so here's the, oh, it's very cute. You yeah, know, it's other a, people did, you know, did the painting and, you know. So they painted the paneling. Yeah. Because it was probably brown, brown paneling yeah, in here put, in the 70s. And it the was linoleum floor, and they right. put the laminate in. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah. This is a very cute room. That, this the, is very the, cute. The, yeah. the architectural element there is very cute. Yeah, but if this is the master, then I, the kids are hearing everything. Yeah. Hearing everything. Yeah. How do you okay. have it more than one kid? <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Wow. Well, you just didn't get any action uh, at yeah. the weekend. Oh, no, no, because he was working on the house. Yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, that deck was built. Well, it's beautiful. 
Well, thank you so oh, much. Okay. Thank Sorry you it's so such much. A no, it's okay. But if I get your email or text or whatever, yes. I can send you updated pictures. Cause it's yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's Daryl Shampoo at Gmail. I think it is. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll make sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. More later, peeps. Bye. Okay. So check this out. So there was no driveway going down here. We just climbed down those steps. They, she says that they put those steps in 25 years ago, but we had something similar. So um, I know that dad made steps eventually, but this house wasn't here before and either was, see over here, there's this deck. This deck right here comes off the back of the upstairs. See? So that goes right straight. It's the top of the stairs, and there's the three bedrooms up there. So um, I know that we did not have this, or I don't think so. I think that door was just a wall. So we'll have lots to talk about here. All right, I think we bothered these people enough. <laughs> okay, so there's the boathouse. It's still there. Um, the, the owner said that it's a little smaller now. We exchanged email addresses, which is cool. So, um, I wasn't sure about yours, Dad, because it just says, you know, your name on for me. But I'll make sure that they get that. Hey, Buffy girl. Are you ready to go check out of the hotel? Or motel, I should say. Are you? Look, she's got her backpack on. Let's see. Let's show them your backpack. Isn't it cute? She's got her doggy treats in there. Yeah, okay. All right, well, I almost got the car packed. And what we're going to do today, this is day five of my staycation. Um, after uh, emailing with my dad, I'm going to make one more try to find Grandpa's house. Um, so I'm going to go a different route. And and so come in from the opposite side of, um, uh, what is it, Westfield. And he said it's a half a mile from the lake in the wooded tree. So I'm going to try to find it uh, one more time before we um, uh, before we leave town. All right, folks, we'll be right with you. I don't know. I I could find the house through the trees, but I can't see it now. Um, well, there's one over there, but I have a picture of an outbuilding. I can't see seem to find a way in. I don't think this is it. Um, it didn't seem like the driveway was this long. So, um, I'm going to keep looking. Okay, well, you know, so that, I, w I thought that was a house back there. That's that green building that I took a picture of. Um, but you know, the funny thing about that green building is it, um, I did send a picture of that to my dad because I recognize, I remember it's that green building, at least I think I do, but that's exactly what it looked like in these woods, but they, there's no house in there. So, um, maybe the house is gone. Uh, I just see the outbuildings and, you know, but... I feel like this is the property. So, a lot can change in 40 years. All right, it's starting to warm up now. I got to get Buffy Girl some water. Uh, we are going to try to find Cascade Mountain Road. <laughs> there it is Cascade Mountain Road. This was the road Ooh, in Portage. I'm at the other side of it, though. Um, I'm going to be uh, uh, the ski resort, Cascade Mountain. Oh, but the, this was the halfway point, all the way up to Pleasant Lake, and Dad would always yell out, "Cascade Mountain Road," and then we would know that we were halfway there. <laughs> nice childhood memory. Hey, everybody. Okay, see that Cascade Mountain. That's a ski resort. We weren't ever a ski family. Um, no, nah, we were more like motorcycles and uh, snowmobiles. So, <laughs> uh, not skiing. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm here, so we're gonna go take a look over at the resort.
All right. Well, now that I'm here, I know for a fact I have never been to this place. So, you got this big sign behind me. Yeah, and kids ski for free even. But, uh, all right, I'm going to show you. It looks pretty, it's very cool over there. All right, we'll be right back. Yeah, okay, check it out. Okay, so they have a nice... It's very nice. This is, let's see, Snow Star, Chalet, Coffee Shop. It's all done in the A-frame, which is very typical um, Wisconsin, or early Wisconsin. But down here, this is really nice. See that lift back there? You got the Mountaintop Express. Dad, I would be interested to know if we ever came here, because I don't remember ever being here. And it's right in our neighborhood. So there's your big old slope back there. Oh, wait. Something else going on down there. Of course, we're in the off season, so. <laughs> but they, it looks like they have some summer activities. I mean, there's cars here. So, oh, maybe that thing shoots snow. The bunny, I don't know. I don't know. But it would be fun to uh, go tubing here. Because they at the other end is um, the, uh, tubing, I saw. So, you know, maybe we should think about doing that uh, with the kids in the winter. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, I just wanted to stop by here since I was in the neighborhood. Let's see what the prices are. Okay, lift tickets and rentals. All right. See, I can't see that right now, but I will be able to see it when I when I'm out of the sun. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, it doesn't look. Oh, right, twelve dollars for tubing, lift tickets, and rental rates. Let me get this sign here. All right. Okay. Well, it wouldn't be a cheap day. Oh, cheap day with the kids. <laughs> But it would be fun, and it would be something to do, uh, you know, once in a blue moon. So, um, yeah, this is very nice. All right, peeps. I got to get home and tend to that mess that's on my bed and put my closet back together. So, uh, that's the end of this lovely trip. Um, I'm just going to be going 94 East all the way home. Thanks for coming by for another video. We'll see you next time, my peeps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye now. Hey, check this out. I stopped off on the freeway to go to the bathroom <laughs> in Johnson Creek. Uh, all right, now open the Gobbler Theater .com. Check out this place. Look at it. It's very strange. And then I get off this exit. I, it, I thought it said McDonald's. I was just going to go in and go to and go to the bathroom. Um, there's nothing here except for this. And then I see this cowboy in this phone booth over here. So I'm like, okay, it's got a phone booth. Well, that's weird in, in it in itself that it's got a phone booth. That's a really cool rock. Look at that thing. Okay, I don't know what kind of theater this is, but it's not open. That looks like, uh, you know, I took every uh, earth science class in high school. <sighs> yeah, I wanted to dig up fossils in Australia, but then, but I got pregnant with Renee Antoinette instead. Oh well, you know, look, look at that cowboy. I don't know who he's calling. Hello? Hey. I need to make a phone call. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like it was a drive-in. I, I don't know what this place is. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna have to look Google it. All right. All right, back on the road, I think the next exit I can find a bathroom. 